We're so confident of our fuel economy, we're willing to let two of our Evinrude E-Tech G2 300 engines go prop to prop with two Yamaha 300s in what we're calling the Dollars and Cents Challenge. It's a long haul from Sarasota to the Florida Keys. These two boaters are at the helm of identical 32-foot center consoles, each with twin 300 horsepower outboards. An independent observer verified that both boats have the correct engine setup and are rigged and propped to each manufacturer's specifications. They both have 160 gallons in their saddle tanks as they begin the 206-mile journey from Sarasota to Key West. Same horsepower, same fuel, same distance. But that's where the similarity ends. To get a true fuel comparison, both boats will run side by side for the entire trip. Sometimes there's nothing better than running on open water, but for sure, there's nothing worse than running low on fuel. You hear that? That's the sound of two Yamahas burning through all that fuel and money, and still coming up short. 25 miles short of Key West, to be exact. We ran out of fuel. We're about 25 miles north of Key West. Andrews 2, what is your position at this time? With 32 gallons of fuel remaining, the Evinrude E-Tech G2 power boat continues on its journey. I got you at 24 degrees, 57 decimal. The 300 horsepower E-Tech G2s go the distance, pulling into Key West with 15 gallons to spare. Let's do the math. The Evinrude made the trip with 145 gallons. To finish, the Yamaha would have needed 185 gallons. That's almost 30% more fuel than the Evinrude. The Yamaha owner would have had to spend $160 more to make that one-way trip. And that's not counting the fuel to get back home or the cost of Sito. More range, less money. That's fuel efficiency. That's Evinrude E-Tech G2.